we want to look at how to graph inequalities. And so what that means, its only difference is, is that we're going to have to have some kind of shading when we graph an inequality. Now, the easiest way is if we put it in that y equals mx plus b form, it will make it very simple to graph the line. So I'm going to copy down my original equation, greater than or equal to 8. So I need to get y by itself. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. That leaves me with minus 2y is greater than or equal to minus 4x plus 8. Now I need to get rid of the minus 2, so I'm going to divide everything through by minus 2. Now remember, when you divide by a negative, you have to flip the inequality sign, and this becomes 2x minus 4. So that tells me that my m is 2, and that my b is negative 4. So what does that mean? That, remember, that means that we're going to have a y-intercept of minus 4, so 1, 2, 3, 4. And now our slope is 2. That's the same thing as 2 over 1. So I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. And then, now, here's the important part. Is it equal to? If it's equal to, it's a solid line. So I know what you're thinking. If it's not equal to, it is a dashed line. Now, I need to know which way I need to shade in this equation for my graph. So I'm going to plug in the origin if I can. That's the easiest place to test a point. So I would have 0 minus 0 is greater than or equal to 8. 0 is greater than or equal to 8, which we know is not a true statement. So you're going to go on the other side of your line, and that's where you would shade.